Hello, everybody. Um, sorry for any of the weird background noises, and I'm sorry for the shaky camera during this. I currently don't have a setup or anything to really record with that well, so I'm using my iPod. And there wasn't that great of lighting inside, so I've decided to come outside. But yeah, seriously, sorry for all the noises from the animals you hear. Um, but yeah, welcome to my sketchbook tour. This is my freshman year sketchbook, and uh, I haven't opened it in a long time. The first few drawings in here was back from, I want to say, the summer before ninth grade year. Um, I was obsessed with Gravity Falls quite a bit, as you can probably tell. The next few things are more Gravity Falls things, and if pages are folded or torn out, it's just because my sketchbook is falling apart, or I just wasn't that proud of those drawings. I also remember there being a lot of blank pages in here. Uh, this isn't my art. This was actually art from someone I used to know, and I really wouldn't like to go into the details of that. Uh, this was when I was trying to draw my Pokemon team back in the day because I had this really great nine tails and I just was trying to assemble like a dream team of sorts and I don't know I just really loved like any of the cat Pokemon or, or anything like that or like Arcanine, nine tails. I liked all the birds and the dogs and stuff in the game. I had issues. <laughs> um, like I said, this isn't my drawing. I got in a homestuck ninth grade year because of a few of my friends, and I would constantly draw one of the characters, uh, Dirk Strider, with, you know, his head cut off and just make jokes about it as it would highly upset some of my ex-friends. Um, some more of the Strider drawings. I think these were actually this one. And this were probably the first two Homestuck things I ever drew. And honestly, wasn't half bad. Uh, this is crappy car cat I drew. When I say I was big into Homestuck, I mean that. Like, basically everything in this sketchbook is Homestuck or Gravity Falls related. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what this was supposed to be. It was a pen sketch I did, and oh my god, this is horrible. Where was this ear even going? I don't even know. Ugh. Mad Hatter Mabel, I think. I'm not sure. I, as you can tell, didn't really use my space well, and the pages are mostly blank. Yeah. Um, I... I don't know what to say about that. I think, honestly, I think this was back when I watched Over the Garden Wall, and I really liked how the, like, black dog looked, and I think I just tried to draw a rabbit or something with antlers and do something similar, but it didn't really work out the best. <laughs> it honestly looks really derpy and kind of stupid. This is... A sketch page. I had seen some of my favorite artists on Instagram do a few pages where they just sketched things and I wanted to try and do it in pen so I could see that my mistakes were final if I made some and maybe try and better that. I ended up really liking some of how these turned out just because I mean come on just I don't know something about being more careful and precise and not being able to make as many mistakes because you can't really erase them just really helped me do this well. I did quite a few of these and as you can tell this one is mostly Homestuck based. I also think I was really big into Star vs. the Forces of Evil this time because at the time 
I really, really was into, like, cartoons and stuff. And I hadn't really been able to find any anime that, like, really interested me. So, I guess I just kind of watched whatever I could find and thought was interesting. As you can see, I did quite a number of these sketch pages. I started to kind of run into an artist block around this time as certain events in my life didn't really bid well for me. But, as you could tell, I was still keeping it up with the ships. Also, just, yes, nah, old meme, dead meme, my feeling, how I felt freshman year. Anyway, um, this is when I started to try and draw things more, more seriously. I reference things a lot more and I just, I don't know, I got really big into drawing briskets at this time. Not exactly sure why. More blank space. Um, I was trying to work on my anatomy and overall it wasn't too good, but hey, at least I tried. I did a few more of these little portrait style drawings like this and if you can't tell over the course of the sketchbook and my later art, I really, 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 really like the Alpha Kids, specifically Jake. He's actually one of my favorite characters. Dirk maybe being my third favorite. Um, I was super angsty at this time, and I genuinely had the biggest art block happening. So I just kind of drew this, and later on when I was looking at this, I just really questioned myself on why I drew it. Although, I'm sure if I think enough about it, I probably remember. Also, again, I didn't understand space. I wasted a lot of paper in this sketchbook just drawing things and then just never filling something up on the rest of the page. I just really feel like I should manage my space better and actually draw things a, bu a bit more. As you can tell, I kind of wasted a lot of paper. Um, this was actually the concept art for a drawing for the Homestuck AU Convict Stuck. I really, really like, if you can tell, I just really like Jake English as a character. And, I don't know, something about Convict Stuck just really striked inspiration in me, and it kind of helped me get out of my, my art block. So I sketched this as a little rough sketch thing to later draw the final version of it, which I will put up on the screen sometime. And if not, I will link it in the description. It is also on my Instagram if you care to find it. More blank space. Okay, so on this page, this isn't my drawing. And honestly, I'd like if we didn't talk about it. I did draw this, though, and I remember at the time, this is when I first got to the part in Homestuck where tricksters were introduced. And I'm sorry, but I just, I fell in love with tricksters. And I've drawn plenty, and to this day, I will continue to draw tricksters, as tricksters are fun and just something simple to let loose, where you don't have to worry about color theory or just in general character design, because, hey, who cares? Vibrant, colorful characters? Let's go. More tricksters. Praise the candy children. Oh yes. Um, I was big in the dirt, Jake, at this time. And honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of it anymore. Um, also, this, this drawing is horrible. My facial anatomy just... I don't know what I was trying to go for here. It almost looks like a mix of chibi with the rounded cheek. But then, like, I got the pointy chin. 
the mouth is just way too far down. And you could tell I wasn't comfortable with drawing hands at all as I put both of their hands in their pocket and their poses look so stiff. But hey, at least I tried. I tried to go out of my comfort zone, even though I kind of didn't. But it is what it is. This was actually referenced. I was not the original artist for this. I don't know who the original artist is, but just know I didn't come up with this concept at all. But I did sketch this. Okay, so this is another one of the sketch pages, except for this is mainly when I was having a big art block in the, I guess, my brain's department of concept or just art in general. So I just started sketching little things because I couldn't really think of anything to turn into a full piece or like a cool looking sketch. This is a real person as well, by the way. Um, they are not a character from anything. Just, just want to throw that out there. They are a real person. They are actually an ex-friend of mine. And I don't want to delve any more into that subject. But just know I don't like them anymore. And throughout my time on YouTube, you may end up hearing me talk more about them. More blank space. Some more sketches. Again, I didn't use the space good. This is where I tried to do this more, I guess. I was trying to do portraits and figure out my style and make things more stylized to my own sense, but honestly it's not really stylized i don't draw like this anymore and just my god this is so terrible mm, so terrible there's a tiny briska just tiny briska again terrible use of space oh <laughs> this is my favorite page i love this page so much I made a tiny comic, which I'll pause to let you read it. But yes, this was a comic when I was huge into Pepsi Cola. I actually still really like this ship, but it is not my favorite ship. However, I did feel it was the best time to draw this as I believe I was in math class at the time when I drew this and I was just really bored about what we were talking about and just I don't know drawing this just gave me light this this made my day pretty good there's some dirt Jake dirt Jake more Pepsi Cola Um, this is obviously referenced. It's a bit stylized, but for the most part, this is heavily referenced from the panel in Homestuck, where, obviously, Jake is kissing Dirk's decapitated head. Up here, if you can read it, which I'm sure no one is fluent in troll, but this says triggered. It kind of looks like it anyway. This was when I was first starting to sketch John. And I have to say, just, it's so cute. And I wish I could sketch John as cute as I did. Because I can't, for the life of me, sketch like this anymore. Like, this is my favorite drawing on this entire page. Well, you know, it's kind of the only two drawings on this page. But still, space thing again. But, yeah. Love this drawing. Can't get enough of it. God, I wish I could draw like that. Look at him. He's so cute. Ah. There you go. Okay. Alright. Um, this is when I was drawing all the sprites. 
I drew Day Sprite first, and I really loved how it turned out. And just look at it. Look at him. Like, I think I drew this after I, like, found that post on Tumblr or something where it was, like, talking about how Dave Sprite had tiny sideburn feathers. And I just couldn't get over how adorable that was. So I just had to draw him. And look, I even included the tiny sideburn feathers. Look at him. But yeah, um, as you can tell, this was a pretty good while ago, too. Uh, there's Nana Sprite. Jasper Sprite. I don't know. He's just so happy. I love how this turned out. Yeah. More tricksters. Well, one trickster. Lack of inspiration. Um, Genderbent. Genderbent um, car cat. I don't know why I drew this, honestly. Also, terrible use of space again. Just terrible. It's just a few little sketches. I actually think this was supposed to be me, but I'm not entirely sure. I think I might have been sad that day. I mean, probably. Some more Pepsi Cola. A random little comic. You can pause and read it if you'd like. More Pepsi Cola stuff. And also, another thing, I never drew on the other page very often. I'm not sure why. I think it's because every time I did, I had like a bad moment where it would smudge and just, I did, at the time, I didn't own any fixative and I couldn't really afford it either. I mean, that's, that stuff's like $10 a can, so I mean. Also, disclaimer, I'm sorry if, and I'm sorry so far in the video that I'm saying this, but I'm sorry if you can't understand me. I have a very southern-esque accent, I guess. I try to use a more proper voice when I do these videos, as I would like for my audience to obviously hear me, you know, you guys, but... Hopefully you guys can understand me, but here you go. Some Jade Doodles, as I really like Jade. Speckerel. Some Matunas. This random griffin I drew. More decapitations of Dirk. Uh, this is heavily referenced, and it's obviously supposed to be Hal. Again, heavily referenced. Please don't hunt me down and tell me I traced or anything. I did not trace, but like I said, this is heavily referenced. More of my own style of it. This is also referenced. I was trying to get down facial proportions and understand how other artists drew, but I did draw this and it took me forever. I remember sitting in class and drawing this and when I finished this, I believe it took me a good 30 minutes. When I finished this, I was so happy. I was like so happy of the outcome. Even if it wasn't my original art and I like sketched this and referenced from another artist artwork, I was so happy with how well I had done it. Some drawings I believe I did on the road trip with my father. He does like a trip to our town, the next town over every weekend. And I went with him this weekend. I just happened to bring my art book. I don't think I really, I just, I think I really just got bored and didn't really know what to draw anymore. So I kind of hate how these sketches turned out too. Boredom. This is also referenced. You'll notice a lot of my artwork from freshman year has been heavily referenced or taken from others' artwork. That being said, that being said, 
I did not in any way claim this is my art. I'm just telling that I referenced so people know. Um, I play League of Legends sometimes, and I haven't really played it much anymore as the game has kind of gotten boring, and, and it's because I main Tristana. That's really all it was. I just really liked the skin, and I really wanted to draw it. Never finished it, though. One of my friends has a very, very cute, but also hard to draw in art style, and it's obviously geared toward anime and I just tried to draw it one day and this was the result of that. Clearly I also wasn't good with drawing hands either as I covered them behind her back instead of attempting to draw them. More tricksters. This is also when I first got my fine liner pens and oh my god I loved them so much but for the life of me I couldn't keep my hands still and I made so many little mistakes on it. I swear. I didn't draw this, and to this day, I don't know who drew this in my sketchbook, but I want to say it was my ex-friend or my friend of current right now. But I'm not exactly sure which. I'm going to say it was my ex-friend, though. Um, this is Trickster Car Cat, and yes, I referenced this. I think the next few pages are tricksters that I heavily referenced, and I believe it was because I was in driver's ed at the time, and we had to stay after school for two weeks, I believe it was, for three hours every single day that we had to stay. As would be understandable, the class got pretty boring, and I had nothing better to do, so I started just drawing tricksters and such. And here's a couple of those. As I said, most of these are referenced from other artworks by other artists. So Some of these I did draw, though. I mean, obviously I drew them all, but some of these I did, like, originally come up with the concept of what they'd be doing. Again, I wasn't comfortable with the hands. That's a thing I wasn't really comfortable with up until about now. I've been trying to sketch hands more uh, more often now to try and get a hang of it, but so far it's been okay, but I've tried. That's all that matters. Okay. The end here, I actually drew this John a long time ago. And yes, it's referenced from something, but I did draw this all in my style and I colored it fully in colored pencil because I had just gotten a pack. I think it was, I want to say Crayolas. Yeah, it was the biggest pack of colored pencils that Crayola has out at the moment. And I really, really, really really wanted to try out drawing something with them and coloring it because I just really love colored pencils and call me weird call me terrible whatever but I love Crayola and honestly I would buy it over Prismacolor for two reasons one you get more colors of Crayola and two it's cheaper and yes, I know some of you are probably like, oh, but Prisma colors are so great. Prisma colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. Yes, that's true, but Prisma colors are also very expensive, and money's not a thing I have much of. Hence why I do art commissions and have been looking for a job for a while now. And honestly, I just feel like because Prisma colors are so vibrantly pigmented, it makes the wax that they use in the core of the pencil a lot less strong. So they break easier. And I honestly would prefer a pencil that's... I prefer a colored pencil that's a lot less prone to breaking. Even if I have to bear down just a bit harder to get the pigmentation I want. 
And it could be argued that this doesn't look the best, but honestly, I am very proud of this drawing. And I really want to work more with colored pencils in the future. And with that, I think that is the end of the sketchbook. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my sketchbook tour. Please subscribe, and if you would like to know when my next video is uploaded, hit the bell icon after subscribing. And please give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for sticking around this long, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye!